This time of year, it can be close to impossible to find a parking spot in downtown Venice. The main parking lots are packed most days, leaving local residents and visitors circling for a spot. ABC 7's Christopher Brantley is joining us live tonight from Venice on what's being done about this problem. Christopher. Well, good evening, Scott and Haley. Heavy traffic here in Venice is nothing new. In fact, it's so common the city has a trolley helping move people along through the city. But is it working? We decided, uh, let's try it. So we went and parked, and now we're waiting for the trolley to come pick us up. Larry Golubsky and his group didn't know the trolley existed until they passed it on the roadways. They are from out of town and wanted to see more of Venice. It seems it's going to make stops in the part of town that we don't go to, <laughs> that we've never been because we just don't know that much about the town. Problem is, the trolley was put into effect by the city of Venice more as a people mover than a tourist attraction. It was all brought about uh, as, a, as an attempt to see if we could uh, uh, help the parking challenges that we had here. The city hoped visitors would park in off-site parking lots and catch the trolley into town, freeing up parking at Centennial Park. However, the only parking available around noon Friday was one electric vehicle charging spot. It took a few minutes to get in the parking lot because I had to get by the rest of the cars. Then when I got in the park a lot, I drove around the whole parking lot. Eventually, Raymond Gulo found a spot, but not until he circled around for quite a bit. I'm amazed it's a normal day and it's just packed with northerners. In 2015, there was a major city council discussion about building a new parking garage downtown. But at the hinting of a build cost of about $12 million, the discussion stopped and hasn't been brought back up. The trolley was meant to ease the problem, but some worry it may not be doing enough. Even if the trolley's full with 25 people uh, at a time, I'm not so sure that's going to have much beyond a, you know, or any measurable impact on traffic challenges. Well, new brochures have been placed all around the city, letting people know where they can park alternatively rather than here in downtown. But as we found out today, it turns out the city has a long way to go to get the word out. Live in Venice, Christopher Brantley, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.